Hello my scrappy friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a layout and I am uh, joining Teresa for uh, her channel is for the love of paper crafting for her scrap lift spotlight series. So I am continuing to, uh, we'll be using here um, the simple stories kit that I put together. If you want some additional information on that, you can find, uh, you'll be able to uh, just click on my channel and look for the most recent kit share. I'll try to see if I can link it here. Um, but these are just scraps from um, that particular that particular kit that I put together. And um, you'll see me um, trying to figure out placement here for the different strips. It calls uh, for just three strips. And I will say that I'm not showing you a particular sketch here. I forgot to mention that earlier. <laughs> Uh, or Pinterest post or anything like that. This is um, class content um, and I will link um, uh, Janet Madison's uh, Patreon channel. Let me tell you, if you don't know about Janet, she started here on YouTube, still has a channel called RTS Scrapbooking. She is now over on Patreon and um, yeah. This is, uh, so I'm showing you uh, that I was careful to kind of uh, uh, join the, those two uh, striped papers uh, with the pinks out and you know, the other colors kind of going out, but the pink being the central point. So here, I'm just kind of looking over at my pictures. I kind of know placement and I'm just um, auditioning different uh, different uh, four by six cards and four by four cards that I may be able to use uh, over on the left hand side <clears throat> either as a title or something to that effect so here I'm showing you some additional strips because I was finding that the bottom looked a little bit empty and sorry I am off frame I you know I'm struggling with the camera placement in this particular uh, in this particular video and um, that will be changed <laughs> I'm, I'm still kind of uh, getting used to it and so um, so yeah so here you just um, I'm just trying to see how if I want this black and white striped paper at the bottom or do I want that yellow polka dot and I end up going with this one I, I'm telling you I'm not I don't I don't like that tone of yellow um, in for this particular layout so I'm happy with the uh, striped paper there so I'm going to concentrate uh, on just one page at a time um, and <clears throat> you'll see me continuously fiddle with the bottom of my photos because I forgot that I want to put the, the black and white striped paper down, but I want to do it at the end. And so that means there still has to be a little bit of, um, give at the bottom of those pictures so I can just slide in. The paper if that makes any sort of sense and you'll see me continually I just forget um, and I'm now I'm remembering <laughs> I'm busy like watching probably something else on TV or something to that effect so you'll see me do this multiple times <laughs> unfortunately um, so the I forgot to mention that the cardstock at the bottom is just the basil uh, cardstock in uh, the smooth white. Um, I have gone ahead and kind of pulled, um, in addition to that four by six card, I've pulled out a bunch of different things from the kit, uh, three by four cards, two by two cards. Um, they won't all make it, but I just kind of like to dwindle down. Like now that I kind of 
after I pick out my pictures, I kind of like to go through my kit and see what is going to make the most sense. So here is the second photo. I know I definitely want, um, so I, I brought in more pictures than I have room for. Um, and I, I really like both of those photos and I'm going to, I'm going to try my best here to see if I can squeeze them both in by cutting them down. But I know I definitely want the peace sign because in the very next picture, she's uh, putting up her peace sign with her fingers. Um, so I know I definitely want that. Um, and here I am fiddling again with the, <laughs> with the tape at the bottom. Um, so here, I'm going to be cutting that down. So you'll see me here in a moment. Um, I'm just going to end up cutting these at, um, uh, four by threes so that they're horizontal. Um, and then you're going to see me start to bring in different die cuts and basically, um, just some different embellishments from the kit that I have already put together. That is, that is on, on these layouts, if you've noticed, that is my first go-to. Um, because I, again, I'm trying to use up that stash. This stash has been in my stash for quite a long time. And so um, I'm making sure that I go there first before I kind of go to the rest of my supplies. But I, but you can, and I do go into the rest of my stash if I want something in particular. Um, so if you wanted to challenge yourself to bring in wood veneer or flare or whatever it is that you, or washi, whatever it is that you think you have an abundance of, or you want to challenge yourself to use it, you can feel free to bring it into any kit. I just, I know myself, like if I put what's in my embellishment bin back right now, it will be some time before I ever touch it again. And now at this point where we're at right now, my kit, I've used many of the papers. Um, and so the kit is dwindling. I have quite a bit of scraps. Um, so I need to make sure that these embellishments get used up. Um, so you'll see that I'm on the left hand side here. See here, I'm, I'm bringing out the cards. I have this kit has two by two cards, as I was mentioning, and the rest of the other sizes that I've mentioned. Um, so I'm just kind of auditioning like, hey, do I think I can bring these into this layout? Um, they don't end up making, the two by twos don't end up making it here. I do love that, yay, that's going to stay. Um, the camera, no, the camera won't stay. The sun will, right there. Um, and... Um, I will say that one of the things that I am kind of working through is I, I have, I, for, for a really long time, I had gotten away from doing double page layouts like this. Um, and I was away from it for a really long time. And so I'm kind of getting out of my comfort zone and trying to, Janet's, Janet's help has been invaluable in that sense because she does do um, she does do double page uh, layouts. So, um, but I mostly I will say I mostly do uh, one page layouts. Um, so here um, I'm just fiddling around with um, placement of the different embellishments. So you'll see I've brought in those hearts. The sun, the sunglasses, um, that circle and that heart over to the uh, top right hand side, that little 
car, um, punched out car, um, by the, um, by the, uh, the, uh, bug in the, in the, the Volkswagen bug in the, in the photo. And again, I'm just bringing other pieces in. This is all from, um, the kit to start and then you will see me um, for sure bring in other stuff from my color bin. I really want to use this um, this hat. It's like a cap, baseball cap. Um, but it doesn't make it it doesn't make it on this layout and I just keep fiddling with it. You'll see me fiddle with it um, a number of times here. <clears throat> but yeah, you can bring in really any type of, you know, if you want to challenge yourself to bring uh, color cardstock in, um, I you could have picked a different color cardstock for the bottom of, you know, whatever might uh, go with the strips of paper that you may have chosen. Um, but it's a super easy design if you have... Um, you know, photos like this, again, you can also flip, um, you know, if I only had horizontal pictures, I could have flipped this so that the pattern papers were on the, uh, the outside of both of the pages. So on the, you know, on the, um, so for the left side that the pattern papers would have been going up and down, uh, on the left hand side of the page and, and vice versa for the right. Um, really, really, uh, versatile, uh, you know, when you, when you use very simple designs like this, um, this particular layout had two other photos. Um, so sometimes I have to make really difficult calls about, you know, what's going to make it on the layout. I don't, um, I batch print, so I don't print. As I go, uh, I, I um, do photo orders and I have photos ready to go for whenever the imp inspiration strikes me. I'm ready to go. The pictures are printed. Um, but I will say I, I do like to use a lot of the a lot of photos. Um, and you'll see me in some upcoming layout shares that I will show you. Um, because I don't do multi, uh, page layouts, um, very often how I use the pocket pages to be able to help with that. Uh, so here I'm just pulling in again, more stuff from my, this is from my stash. Um, I have these, um, I love labels of all kinds and I used to have them, you guys, everywhere in my color bins. I had them with um, collections. I had them everywhere. Um, I had, I even had uh, some people gift me some. Um, I've had, they've come in, you know, other kits over the years. Um, you know, they've come in uh, the Black Friday uh, warehouse boxes and grab bags and all of that. So. Over the years, I've had them in many different configurations. I've had, I'm a big proponent of using what you have and not necessarily having to buy storage solutions, particularly if you're like me and you have storage for your storage. Um, but I digress, that's a different topic for a different day. Um, but I did uh, do and make do with, um, I had some, I still do, uh, some paper um, CD uh, envelopes. Um, I've seen other kind of better things come out since, obviously, that's, I, I'm going to date myself that the paper CDs was when I used to burn CDs, like eons ago, it seems like. But um, anyway, so um, what you saw there in terms of the case is a solution that I didn't come up on my own. Somebody posted in the Love RTS group uh, on Facebook 
I believe um, that they had those uh, plastic cases at the Dollar Tree store. And so I did go there and grab some of those um, there. And that's how I store uh, all of my labels by color. Um, so here you see me just um, adhering things down. I am going to use that four by four card, but I need to trim it up a little bit. So you see me doing that kind of off camera here. Um, but that case solution is like the best thing ever. Um, I have them right at my desk, at my fingertips, really easy to use. Um, and it was originally, uh, it was marked as a case for masks. Like if you were to just throw them in your bag, um, you could use the case for it, but there's enough wiggle room in there that you can fit several, uh, several labels, um, in there. So, um, I don't find that I have any kind of difficulty opening, closing it, like making sure that all of mine, because again, my labels come from everywhere. So they're coming, uh, some I've even gotten as, um, uh, printables, um, that I have die cut here at home. Um, that's where the, I, I probably the majority of mine are from. Um, but I've also gotten them obviously previously in kits. And so here I'm just making the final touches. I've spared you a lot of me struggling with, <laughs> with, um, just backing it with foam. This is again, just, I, I went into my color bins. Um, I thought I'm like, when is the better time to use that word? Right. She's making the peace sign. The peace sign is there. So I've kind of made this like band of embellishments too at the bottom. Um, and I really like those, those enamel dots and that puffy sticker all from my color bins. So again, just bring in the colors that I think go well with the layout. Um, and yeah, I've just gone in there and pulled them out of my color boxes. Um, and everything else that in terms of the paper is all from the kit, all the scraps, everything, mm -hmm. all the embellishments, all from scraps. So here I'm just putting enamel dot, uh, finishing touches, and I'm still fiddling with, oh, so you're seeing, um, you're going to see me fiddle with this and then I'm going to get to the title. I already, um, had pulled out the title. I had to stop the video and, uh, try to figure out what I was going to call this. Um, I do know these pictures were taken in Florida. So, um, I'm just, um, I pulled those, um, those, uh, foam, thickers in black. They are the Fitzgerald. And, um, and you'll see that the previous alphabet that I was using is the October afternoon daily flash, the mini, al the mini alphas, but these are the, um, the foam thickers in, um, the Fitzgerald in black. So this is just the place where the, um, photos were taken and once this um once the title is down I like to use wax paper uh for uh, the majority of my titles anything with um letters or stickers um uh, I am I am fond of the wax paper so here's the final layout I'm kind of bringing it back into frame it's not exactly straight but Thank you all for joining me today and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.